Okay, so question one of this grade 10 exam prep. Uh, this is from Ontario schools, and uh, if you're from another, well, if you're from another school or even from another class in my school, you might want to check with your teacher to make sure they cover all this stuff. Um, anyways, I'll put those disclaimers in the uh, notes. First of all, that question, x-intercept. To find the x-intercept, we set the y equal to 0. So you get 3x minus 2 bracket 0 equals 12. That goes to 0. So 3x equals 12. Divide off to 3. And your x intercepts equal to 4. Bam. Y intercept is when x is equal to 0. So yeah, in order, this always works. Like for any equation, lines, quadratics, whatever. Set the other value equal to 0 and you get an intercept. Uh, so 3 times 0 minus 2y equals 12. That goes to 0. Negative 2y equals 12. Divide off the negative 2. y is equal to negative 6. Uh, next thing they want you to solve here is slope. In order to get slope, I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to switch it into y equals mx plus b. So that's equal to 12. I'm going to take the 3x to the other side, it becomes negative 3x. The 12 is still there, so it's still positive. Divide off your negative 2 to get the y by itself. And those negatives cancel out, so you get 3 over 2x minus 6. So slope is equal to 3 over 2. And I didn't really have to do this. I could have just rearranged y equals mx plus b, and here is my y-intercept again, because this is my b value, which is negative 6. Anyways, both ways work. Check, check, check. Next question. Uh, solve these things graphically. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label these as equation 1 and 2. Equation 1, I'm going to rearrange this. Now, I'm not going to leave the y there this time. Let's move the y to the other side. It makes it easier. So 5x, move the 15 over this way, it becomes positive 15. Move the y over there, it becomes positive y. And now I have y equals mx plus b. Slope's equal to 5, b is equal to 15. Okay, equation 2. This time the 2y is here. I'm going to move the 12 over. So it equals 12, pl sorry, x plus 12. Divide off the 2. Now some people have trouble with this. When it's just x over 2, remember there's a 1 in front of there. If there's no coefficient in front, there's a 1 in front. So this is 1 half x plus 6. Okay, this case, m is equal to half, b is equal to 6. Okay, so I had this little thing drawn. Now, in order to actually graph these things, though, I'm going to take these tick marks and make these blue lines every four. So this means that's one, two, three, four, five. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now, I'm going to try to mimic that over here. So there's one, two, three, four, there's another four. So this is four and eight. I think that might be as far as I need to go, so I'm going to start going back the other way. So this is negative four, negative eight. Now, if you have graph paper, well, that would be a heck of a lot easier than doing all this scratch, but I don't. So B value is 15. That's way up here. Now, it's sloping at five, which is five over one, so I'm going to run one and rise five. So I go over 1 up 5, but I go, I'm going in the wrong direction. I'm going way too high. So I'm going to come back 1 and down 5. That takes me back down to 10. And then back 1 down 5, which takes me down to 5. And then back 1 down 5, which takes me down to 0. So this is what my line's going to look like approximately. Uh, next one starts at 6. So B value is 6. That's your y-intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It starts there. And then it goes over 2. So again, this is your run. So you run 2, rise 1. So I go over 2, up 1, over 2, up 1, over 2, up 1, and then back 2, down 1, and bam, there's my intersection. So I'm not going to go much farther than that. So graphing. Plot your B value, rise and run to all your other points. Make sure you go in both directions, because in this case, your POI is back here. So the solution is the point of intersection. Therefore, our solution, the POI, is negative uh, 2, comma, 5. All right, 1 and 2, done. I'll do 3 in another video.